The James Webb Telescope has recently sent a big warning to Earth from the exoplanet Proxima b, which is getting closer and closer. Each new image makes us question ourselves more. The authorities are terrified. Every photograph of this distant planet fills us with doubts. They are worrying pieces of a growing enigma about a hostile planet near Earth. What if we have a nearby alien planet that seeks to destroy us? Join us as to discover the terrible entities that Proxima B hides millions of kilometers away. A dream or a nightmare? Where are the aliens? This question keeps coming up. Honestly, the universe doesn't make it easy to find an answer. We continue to use our best technology, like the James Webb Space Telescope, in the hope of capturing something, any hint of life beyond Earth. But let's be real. Each new image and data mainly reminds us of how little we know. We're told these discoveries could be revolutionary. Understanding a distant planet like Proxima b could redefine our place in the cosmos. However, while astrophysicists experts find this exciting, for most people it's just more space news that doesn't really affect their lives. It's another small step in a huge ongoing quest that seems to raise more and more questions than answers. Despite its power, the JWST cannot reveal much to us. We've learned things like the universe is bigger than we thought, which is interesting, but then what? In terms of practical implications, the distance between scientific discoveries and their everyday relevance can seem as immense as the universe itself. We return to Proxima b. Discovered in 2013 due to its gravitational interaction with its star, for scientists, it was like finding a new neighbor in the cosmos. This planet is only slightly larger than Earth and completes one orbit around its star every 11 days. The idea of another world so close to our own is scientifically exciting, but it's difficult for most people to connect with a place that's 4.5 light years away. Imagine being in Proxima b. You would see its star, Proxima Centauri, as a large, faint red light in the sky, much cooler than our sun. The planet orbits its star so quickly that its year lasts over a week. One side of the planet is always facing the star, receiving constant daylight, while the other side is in perpetual night. It seems like something out of a fairy tale, but the reality of living there would be brutal. The proximity to its star means that any water could evaporate on the light side and freeze on the dark side. In addition, Proxima Centauri is an active star that emits strong calls of radiation. Not exactly the neighborhood one would want to move to. The enthusiasm for finding life beyond Earth really took off in the late 2020, when scientists detected an unusual signal from the Alpha Centauri system home of Proxima Centauri. The signal had a unique frequency of 982.551 Hz, capturing the world's attention. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope sparked even more interest by suggesting that Proxima b might have water vapor in its atmosphere. This discovery is crucial since water is essential for life as we know it. To better understand the amount of water in Proxima b, Scientists are using all the advanced techniques available. Spectroscopy, a method that allows the gases around Proxima b to be identified, acts as a high-tech research tool. Atmospheric modeling, another technique, involves creating computation simulation of Proxima b's atmosphere. These simulations help scientists make assumptions about the atmosphere similar to how paleontologists use dinosaurs' bones to imagine what it might look like. These scientific methods have revealed gases such as oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide around Proxima b, which are essential for life. They also allow scientists to run experiments with different scenarios in their computational models, like children playing with ideas at a science fair project. While these tools are revealing more about Proxima b's atmosphere, they also remind us of the incredible variety of life forms on Earth. For example, extremophiles are tiny organisms that live in the most extreme conditions on our planet. They can inhabit 
boiling hot springs, acidic lakes near volcanoes, and even the frigid cold of Antarctica. These organisms demonstrate how life can adapt and thrive in conditions that we previously considered impossible for survival. The research for life on Proxima B poses enormous challenges. However, the challenge of proving that there is life on Proxima B is daunting. Scientists not only have to overcome intense space radiation, but they also need advanced technological equipment capable of tackling this task. The distances to travel to reach Proxima B are enormous. Ideas like solar sails, ion propulsion, and even theoretical concepts like warp drives offer exciting possibilities for future space travel. These technologies could reduce the time needed to travel between stars, opening new opportunities for exploration and discovery. However, these technologies are still in the early stages of development and require research and testing before they can be used in real missions. While thinking about these future possibilities is exciting, we must be realistic. The path to discovery of life on Proxima B is full of technological and scientific obstacles. We need to continue improving our technology and our understanding of the universe. Only then can we hope to explore distant worlds like Proxima B and possibly find signs of life on them. Pursuing these goals not only satisfies our curiosity, but also pushes the boundaries of what humanity can achieve by reaching for the stars. When we think about the long journey to Proxima Centauri, our closest star system, the idea of encountering aliens seems less like a fantasy and more like a real possibility. This shift from being just a story in a book to something we could actually achieve has been taken seriously by groups like Breakthrough Initiatives. They are working hard to reduce a journey that would take thousands of years to just a few decades. However, achieving these ambitious goals faces the harsh reality of our current technology. Trying to accelerate a spaceship to near light speed with the technology we have today feels almost impossible. Like trying to solve a very difficult puzzle in the dark. One suggested solution is to use adaptive optics, where smaller lasers on satellites would continuously monitor the atmosphere and adjust for any disturbances. This would help powerful lasers on Earth keep their focus on spacecraft as it flies through space. This laser technique would require an enormous amount of energy, equivalent to the total energy used by the entire United States, and would only work for a short period of time. Imagine installing 100 million lasers over a large area, all to power a small 10-meter wide spacecraft at 20% speed of light. However, getting to the Alpha Centauri system doesn't just involve solving technical challenges, there are also natural obstacles, the sun's gravity, space rock fragments, and the immense distance presents significant risks. Even communicating with the spacecraft would be like sending messages through time, as it would take approximately four years for a message to travel from Earth to the spacecraft. Let me know your opinion in the comments box. If you liked the video, remember to like it, subscribe, and share it so it reaches more people.